musical is our art. I've just always liked electronic music a lot. I have a history of traditional instruments. We both do of playing like piano, oboe, you've played guitar. So this, this is, is a very, very simple um, synthesizer. And then I just house it inside of this jar. So. so the cool thing about this is that it's light sensitive. This whole doll before the head was taken off of it, it was, was featured in one of my albums called Dolls Like Me. I have I have a solo project called Flutter. And so I said, yes, you can take the doll from Dolls Like Me and do whatever you want. Um, cleverly named the doll set. <laughs> cleverly. <laughs> um, kind of set it all off for me because once I did this, I was like, Oh, this is really cool and then three years later you see all of this other stuff so all the circuitry is on the inside of it and i had to cut it open in order to get inside there because we make art yeah. out of everything we have um we like reusing things yeah. and and we have a very strong um diy work ethic so um from synthesizers to repairing the ambulance um we try to do as much as we can with whatever resources we can find so I always wanted to get into electronics when I was younger but growing up we didn't have YouTube and we didn't have Google so I didn't really my access to this information was very limited so our long-term goal with motor um, is to not only have it be a storytelling vehicle but I also want it to be kind of like a um, a DIY uh, learning vehicle. It would be cool yeah. to host a build workshop out of here and invite people to come and build this thing um, and then have it done within an hour or so and and then immediately get to enjoy the fruits of their labor. You see, oh wow, I put this together and this is what it and does. And it already makes No money. matter how silly it is, it's just there's a certain amount of satisfaction you get from physically putting something together and then immediately seeing the results.